Hi, my name is Ben Lopez. I'm an independent filmmaker and I'm here to talk to you about TV producer salaries. In this day and age, uh, due to the internet and everything, salaries are buried, but we can talk primarily of what happens in network television and cable. Um, producer salaries are based on the success of the show. Usually if you have a, an established producer, for example, a Jerry Bockeheimer, uh, those producers can expect to earn uh, anything from a million to ten million per episode. Uh, very highly successful shows that become syndicated, meaning that they get picked up after their initial uh, season debuted on TV, they earn a lot more money. So it also depends on the royalties made out of that syndication. On network television, for example, if you have a, a, a a show like Friends, uh, which was very successful, or like a show like Seinfeld, those type of shows um, can earn a producer uh, pretty good money, especially if it gets syndicated. Um, but for example, if you're starting out with a new series, it depends on the success of the show and the level of advertising. It, it also depends on the time slot where the show and the network itself. So for example, if you have a new network like TNT, well actually it's not new anymore, but if you have an emerging network Network, then they might not pay a lot for that show up front. Um, later on, you can negotiate as he becomes again syndicated or if he gets picked up on other shows. Um, sometimes moving into primary networks like NBC, ABC, and some of the, the main ones, those, those shows are much more, they have a bigger budget and they usually pay a lot more per show. Now the state of the t television industry, especially with TV shows, is always changing. Um, one good way to find out is to attend a conference where people go and pitch this type of shows. In the beginning, it's not very profitable unless you're an established uh, filmmaker and a TV producer. The best way now to find out what a TV show is worth is to look at and, and check out those conferences and see how much networks are paying for those TV shows. Now with the emergence of the internet, TV shows are becoming much more cheap to shoot and to try to distribute online because now audiences are looking at the computer to try to see the shows and uh, many of the shows can be very inexpensive because you're producing with maybe a single camera, a small cast that maybe people don't know but they're hoping that they can get picked up. My name is Ben Lopez, thank you for watching.